Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back. We are here at the grocery store and what do you think Yusuf? What do you think? No? No, he's not a big fan. Obviously one of the biggest questions that we're getting asked is to describe what it costs to buy groceries. Yeah, and so you guys know that we live in Canada right now and so we're going to go through this grocery store and pick up basically the same basic things that you guys are probably buying every time you go to the grocery store and we'll compare pricing in Malaysian ringgit versus Canadian dollars and US dollars. And we'll get in the way of all the people trying to put their carts away. Okay, so one thing that's a little bit weird, you guys, is we have all the produce here and in Canada, you can just pick up the produce and go to the checkout. Here, you have to get every single item weighed and then get a sticker for it with the weight and the price. So we can't just pick things up and just walk around. We have to pick things up, go to the little stand thing that they have and then weigh it and then get the price. So let's see what some good old Dole bananas are gonna cost us. This is a bunch of six and I can't get it off the thing with one hand. <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay, so one thing of bananas, six bananas. Let's see what that's gonna cost us. Okay, so our kids love berries. So we're gonna grab some berries. We love blueberries in our house. So these are already stamped with the price. These are 1090, bring it. All right, guys, one thing about apples is they're different everywhere you go. So I don't know what's what, but I see some honey Fuji apples. So let, oh, gala. I like gala apples. Let's go with a bag of about six apples. And one thing to note is that anything you're going to be importing into the country is going to be expensive. And anything that's domestically sourced is going to be cheaper. Another cool thing is that all of the signs actually tell you the origin of the fruit, vegetables, etc. So these apples are from South Africa. These guys over here are from China, South Africa, South Africa. Apparently South Africa is a big apple producer, just like Canada. Oranges. What do we got here? Oranges are going to be from Egypt. Wow. Egyptian oranges. What about the lemons? Lemons over here are also from Egypt. Everybody loves, especially during Ramadan, watermelons. Do you know the life hack on how to pick the proper watermelon? A lot of people do this, tap, tap, tap. No, what you want to do is find the most yellow spot on the watermelons. And I don't see them, so I'm just gonna pick one. There we go. Ooh, that one's so ripe, I almost put my hand right through it. Good enough, let's go with this one. It's a good head-sized watermelon. Do tell me, because I don't know, in Canada, eggs are in the fridge. Here, the eggs are just hanging out. So weird. Different strokes for different folks, I suppose. But let's find some eggs that would be kind of comparable. So we normally always get a dozen eggs. So here is a dozen eggs. High in vitamins. Let's go with it. And those are going to be 735. So pretty much almost the price you would pay, except this is in Ringgit, not Canadian. So you're less than two thirds of that price. But we'll have it on screen for y'all. So here's what she was referring to with the weighing of the produce. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Just like that. The banana got a sticker. It is 557 ringgit. The watermelon is 13 ringgit 47 cents. Okay, so a whole wheat loaf of bread has absolutely no price on it. I don't know why. So we're going to have to buy it and check it on the receipt afterwards. Okay, so I'm that mom. I brought two boxes of diapers About when we came. Diapers. Okay, a lot of diapers because I, I don't trust diapers and we're very particular about the non-chemically diapers that we use on this little guy. But I know that there's a lot of you that are probably like, well, how much does it cost here? So the same brand that we use, we use Little Rascals, is not available here, but the equivalent is actually this brand right here. It's called Offspring. And so Offspring is the eco-friendly, non-chemically branded you diapers. 30, you 30 pants. Wait, those are training pants. Those don't count. Those are not diapers. No diapers are up there. So ultra thin diapers you get for, you get 44 diapers. For 49 ringgit. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so a tub of plain yogurt, 1.4 kg is 18.7 ringgit. And this is what you get. All right, guys, obviously a staple in anybody's house is butter. Although I hated butter as a kid, I liked margarine. Now, yeah. now that I'm an adult, I'm disgusted by my choices in life. And anyway, so this is like an original salted 500 grams of butter for 15.95. 
guys in the way, right over there. Okay, let's just sneak in there while they're working. So milk is expensive in Malaysia. We've got two liters for 1620. That is definitely something that people mention is that milk is expensive. Also something that I find strange as a Canadian who drinks a lot of milk is that you can't get like four liter jugs of milk, at least in the grocery stores that we visited, which is kind of strange. Jug or bag if you live in Ontario still baffles me how we put milk in bags, plastic bags instead of plastic jugs. Anyway, moving on. Okay, one thing that's a staple in our house is a good old thing of orange juice. So we've got this guy right here. This one is how much? Uh, let's see. Okay, it's two liters 11. and it's 11.90. So there you have it. All right, so water. We drink a lot of water because it's hot here and we're fasting. So we do drink a lot when we're not fasting, but water is actually pretty cheap. So this is 8.20 for six liters of mineral water. Okay, so we have chicken breast. This one is 45.45 kg and it is 11.29 ringgit. All right, so we've completed the grocery shop. The mystery bread was four ringgit 65 cents. And the grand total is 473 ringgit and 71 cents, which is kind of a typical grocery shop. As you can see, we got a whole cart full of stuff. So that cart full of groceries is about $135 Canadian. That's really good. Compared to what a typical grocery shop for us looks like in Canada is roughly around always $200. At least, yeah. And guys, also you got to remember too, is that this is more of a higher end grocery store. Yeah. So I would say that you can get things a lot cheaper depending where you go. This is close to where we're staying, so it made sense. Plus, we have guests coming over for iftar, and so we bought a lot of extra stuff that we normally wouldn't buy just for ourselves. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along for our grocery shop. I will say this, some things are definitely going to be expensive, some things are going to be cheap, but where it balances out in a huge way is what it costs to actually live here. And by that, I mean yeah. rent. Yeah. So in the next video, we are going to take you through our Airbnb and let you know what the actual rental cost of that unit is, as well as give you a tour. And I was pretty shocked when I did the math last night just to find out what the actual rental place of this place is versus what we pay in Canada. So do stay tuned for that, guys. Take care, and we will see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.